What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and today we did receive update 1.14. I did make a video this morning talking about everything you could expect to see with the update today coming to the game like new maps and weapons and things like that. I will pop that video up in the top right corner right now if you guys would like to watch it. This video is going to be strictly about the patch notes themselves because there's a good bit of things going on within this update. Of course it was a very big update. 51 gigs on PS4 and 68 on Xbox and 67 gigs on PC. I will link all these patch notes down in the description if you guys would like to read over them for yourself. Farmland has been added back into the ground, uh, ground war rotation but they have removed access to the second floor and a handful of located houses in the center of the map. Uh, if you look in those patch notes down in the description it shows an image that shows all the houses that have had second floor access removed and these are some pretty popular uh, kind of locations for people to hang out and get into a lot of gunfights. I think it's going to change the way this map plays a whole lot. Fix various exploits across all Grand War maps. Fix an issue where players could team kill care package owners. A fix for Platinum and Damascus camos having a blinding glare. This was also an issue I noticed on a lot of my gold weapons when I got them gold. Some maps I would have a very blinding glare on them when you ADS so hopefully it's been fixed on the gold camo as well. Fix for a rare bug that could, that could prevent players from accessing the barracks weapons or operators after a match. And they also have disabled the copy loadout feature. No real reason why but they said it has been disabled. Also, uh, field upgrades, the trophy system, deploy time has been reduced, fixed a bug where, that allows players to get infinite weapon drops by canceling kill streaks, and fixed a bug where objectives were not giving field upgrade progress. They have rebalanced the perks, now overkill, switch places with kill chain, and will, will now be in perk 2. So overkill is now a uh, in per, uh, like I said, you know, switch places with kill chain and now we'll be in perk 2. EOD removed the hacking ability and added that, that to the spotter perk. Double time, double the recharge rate of tactical sprint. Uh, quick fix reduced the health re regeneration delay and the kill will immediately start regenerating. Uh, ghost removed snapshot grenade um, uh, immunity and moved that to the battle hardened perk. Restock changed the equipment recharge rate from 30 to 25 seconds. Kill chain, switch places with overkill in perk 1. Point man increased the score gain for score streaks across all modes. Uh, perk 3 slots, tune up, increased the field upgrade cost reduction. Spotter added a hacking ability from EOD and we're currently working on the ability to hack through walls. Also battle hardened added the snapshot grenade immunity from ghost, added gas grenade resistance. Cough is no longer played when the player enters gas. Reduce the slowdown under the gas effect and reduce the blur when under the gas effect. When it comes to weapons, the crossbow fixed for some kills not tracking properly. Fixed for explosive fury crossbow bolts not killing juggernauts in one hit. Very slight tuning to the reload speed. Fixed a bug with a crossbow to not do any melee damage to deployed cover. The SA-87 smooth out the recoil and increase the damage. That is a big thing on that weapon in my opinion because that could possibly be the worst weapon in the game overall I think. Uh, the increase the Ram 7 extended mag ammo count from 45 to 50. That was supposed to be fixed last time and it has been fixed this time. Also uh, a couple things changed in operations fixed an issue where the checkpoint could cause players to spawn under the map. Uh, keyboard and mouse they added a change to loadout keybinds for custom loadout 6 to 10. Also fixed a visual issue where, high, where the highlighted usernames of multiple people in the lobby with the mouse cursor could lead to multiple emblem player card level UI elements appearing and overlapping each other. Uh, they removed the specialist restrictions from the Call of Duty League, which is pretty interesting because there is no kill streaks if you're a follower of the Call of Duty League, the professional scene. There's no kill streaks in this Call of Duty like there has been in past Call of Duty games. And there was really no specialist bonus being able to be ran either uh, in the past couple weekends of events, of, of events. So now they have removed the specialist restrictions. So it looks like the Pro League will be able to run specialist at least. And I think that is a good thing. Also, they did some changes to Codcaster. And a couple things on PC. When using the Tracker uh, perk, footprints are now visible when the bullet impacts and spray option is disabled in the graphics tab. And several fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability on 
PC specifically. Anyway, guys, that is all the patch notes. Like I said, they are linked down in the description if you would like to read over them for yourself. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner. That way you know when all the videos on the channel go live. Also, if you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And check out GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.